guys, so I'm just starting off with my bare brows as you guys can see. I want to do my brow routine if you guys hadn't noticed from the title. <laughs> so I'm just going to start off, like I said, with bare brows. I've done the rest of my face, so it's like my base is done. Um, it's just going to be a brow routine, just purely me explaining how I fill in my brows. So it's similar products to what I've used in my previous brow routine, which I'll have linked down below if you do want to check it out. Just different like way that I feel in my brows nowadays because I have grown them out more than what I had in my last few brow tutorials. I've loved having a more thicker, natural looking brow kind of look these days. So I'm going to start off with the brushes that I use. I go in with this tapered brow kind of definer brush. I like it because it has a tilt to the bristles, so it allows me to get that angle and fill in my brows a lot easier than it would if it was just straight along the top. And I just go through with this little spoolie and I just kind of brush my hairs up with that. And those are the, basically the just two applicators that I use. I do sometimes go in with a concealer brush if I am like cleaning up my brow if I fill it in pretty messily, but otherwise that's basically it. So the two brow palettes that I go in with are the usual, the Master Brow Pro palettes from Maybelline. And I just go through and I just fill in my brows with those palettes, which I'll demonstrate now. <laughs> so now that you're up close and personal, we can really start tending to these brows. So what I like to first originally do, like I said, is I start to spoolie up my brows just so I can actually see the proper shape of them. If they're all lying flat, oh, that, that's a look. <laughs> if they're just lying flat or here and there, like just higgledy piggledy, you're not going to get the proper initial shape of them. So just brushing the hairs up, you don't have to do this for long, like a couple strokes here and there will get the, like, get the job done. Then I'm going to grab my angled brush and the middle shade from the soft brown palette. And what I like to do is actually press the edge of that brush against the roots of my hairs. So there's a few kind of stragglers underneath which do give still a bit of shape to my brow so I won't really define the bottom edge of those. If that makes sense, I usually just press and flick the product up. I'm trying to keep some, you know, guidance with it. Just keeping to, like I said, the roots of the hairs. I say this in a lot of my makeup tutorials, I'm a big supporter of like the non-sharpie brow looks. So I always try and make sure that I don't fill in the head of the brow too heavily and get that kind of block brow look rather than a nice tapered natural looking brow. This is my favourite of the brows, it just, it just sits a lot nicer, I feel like it's just the more cuter sister of the brows because I mean they do say your brows should look more like sisters and twins but sometimes I think mine are more like like cousins like distant cousins <laughs> and that's literally all I do to the front of the brow is just taper in a little bit of that soft brown and that's all the soft brown that I use as well I next go in with the dark brown shade I've used this one longer than the soft brown like I used to just use the one color the one middle shade and just kind of use that to fill in my brows but I just find the two browns just create a more natural looking brow because you get those different tones rather than just being one block brow. So I'm just continuing on from that soft brown. I start where the darkest part of my brow starts to begin, so here. And I follow the natural curve of my brow. So I'm very lucky to have quite full brows. I'm very blessed and very grateful for them. So I just basically Fill in where it's needed. So I will give a bit of... Whoop. Oops. Just kind of give the structure to the bottom of the brow. Just like here. Just along that arch to really kind of give that definition. And then what I do once I've done that is kind of just feather in the product into any of the gaps. And I will just bring whatever's left on the brush through the head of the brow like here. But that's it. Like I don't want to add any additional product to there. I also take some more product and just define up the tail of my brow just here so I won't really do anything to the top of my brow. I just bring that brush along the curve of the tail just like that. 
And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'll just go in and fill in the rest of any, you know, sparse gaps or areas and just, yeah, fill in what's necessary. I used to, like, give heavy structure to the top of my brow. I'm not really about that for my, mid, like, you know, everyday kind of look or even just a glam look. Like, I actually prefer to have, like I said, the more natural brow. So I'll just kind of keep it like that. I can carve it out if I feel like, you know, it needs to be. Like, I've done a messy job or, you know, I need to, like, pluck my brows and there's a lot of sparse... Sorry, there's a lot of stray hairs and things. But we're good. We're good today. Put this brow out so it's a bit more troublesome. Because I have a, like, gap right here. So I have to actually kind of keep building up that brow just along this arch area here. It just doesn't grow as full as it does, like I said, with my other brow. She's the sexy one of the two. <laughs> and that's basically it for, like, the powder and, like, giving the structure back to my brows, like, filling them in and whatnot. I used to do a lot more effort nowadays. It's, like, so quick and easy. I love it so much. I do have a couple different gels that I'll use. So, I mean, like I said, this isn't new products. I just use it differently than I used to. So I have the Ardell Clear Brow Gel. I also have the Rimmel Dark Brown like Tinted Brow Gel. So it depends on like what look I'm going for. If I'm, if I'm going for a more like dramatic look, then I'll go in with the Rimmel one. If I'm going for more of like a soft, more natural fluffy brow look, I'll go in with the Ardell, which is like it's been my more so go-to of recent days rather than having a more intense brow like I used to. So what I do is I just grab the clear brow gel and I'll just feather it through the brows. This is like a really necessary step I feel when filling in your brows because it gives the structure back, it pushes the hairs in place um, and sticks them down. So I like to brush up and then let them kind of like fall into their natural position. I used to just brush them up for a really fluffy, intense, kind of like very natural editorial brow, but nowadays I like it to just kind of fit into that kind of shaped brow that we've created. And that's it. So that's basically how I will fill in my brows nowadays. Um, can I think of anything else to say on this? No really so guys this actually wraps up today's video it's a very 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 quick one i just wanted to show you guys my updated brow, blah, brow a brow routine because you have been asking you know what i do to fill in my brows like what keeps you know how i get like such a full looking brow that's basically all i do with my brows so i hope you guys do enjoy or did enjoy this video and get a tip or two out of it if you guys did like it make sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe to my youtube channel so you guys can join my youtube family and we can all just enjoy this content together if you do have any requests for my upcoming videos please leave them down below otherwise i'll see you guys in my next video hope you have an amazing day bye